What a win. His first ever at Grand Slam level, Yannick Humphman. I was huge. I mean, my first Grand Slam win, you know. Um, it's last year I played all the Grand Slams, uh, lost first round every time. We walked in and then, you know, this volume erupted and, uh, and I was like kind of trying to hide my smile or my grin or whatever. I think it was maybe more a little bit like a soccer match than actually tennis. That was such a good performance. To play a player like him here, yeah, it was, was for sure one of my biggest wins. Yannick Humphman has got one big prospect coming his way. Rod Laver Arena, a date with Rafael Nadal. I remember my dad, when I, when I uh, qualified for the first time, or to play in qualifying here, he said, I, I need to be in Australia for this. And maybe at some point you play on Rod Laver. Yeah, it's a big match and um, it's kind of a little bit living the dream or whatever you want to say. Is it really rewarding to have this success at 30 years old? Yeah, um, I think I do have uh, my best years ahead of me still. So, um, I really believe so and um, so let's, let's start the good things with 30. The crowd don't want to go home but Huffman is playing disciplined parent. Do you have a hearing impairment? Does it affect you on the court? I mean, I think maybe some of the some of the yells that that are not so loud, maybe I don't hear them as much as other players. Maybe on the court, I would say it's more beneficial for you when you don't hear everything that's going on. What I don't know, because I've, I've lived with it my whole life, what I don't know is, is what happens if I would hear the ball bounce on the court differently or, or the way it comes off the racket. Like, I would never know. I played with hearing devices, but it was so different and so also challenging because it was so much more input. Look at these guys there. Look at these guys. Just enjoying. I mean, I, I have a little bit of court time on Rod Laver and I think Rafa maybe has 60, 70 matches on it. You're not scared of Rafa? I mean, I, I'm not scared of him. I know he's a human being, but he's a damn good tennis player, so uh, that will... Maybe he'll show me.